Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to go over the differences between a master detail relationship and a lookup relationship in Salesforce. This is a topic that can be difficult to understand for many Salesforce newcomers. Knowing the differences between the two relationships is extremely important when preparing for the admin exam. So to start from the setup homepage, I'm going to navigate to the object manager. And then from here, I'm going to navigate to a custom object that I created. So in this case, it's called car. Then I'm going to click on fields and relationships, and then I'm going to click on the new button to create a new field. I'm not actually going to create a new field. I just wanted to show you that Salesforce gives descriptions on each of these relationships. Instead of reading off both of these descriptions, I actually created my own slide that goes over the differences. So I'm going to pull it up now. So some of the key differences I wanted to highlight between the two relationships are master detail relationships are tightly linked relationships between the two objects. Whereas for lookup relationships, the two objects are loosely linked. Master details support rollup summary fields, whereas lookup relationships do not. The max number of master detail relationships you can use is limited to two per object, whereas the max number of lookup relationships you can use is 40 per object. When using a master detail relationship, the detail record inherits the security from the master. Whereas for a lookup relationship, the security settings do not need to be the same for the two objects. When the master record is deleted in a master detail relationship, the child record is automatically deleted. Whereas for lookup relationships, the child record is not automatically deleted just because a master record is deleted. And finally, for master detail relationships, the parent record is required in order to save a child record. Whereas for a lookup relationship, the parent record is not required when creating a child record. So that's all I have for this video. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, understanding the differences between these two relationships is extremely important when preparing for the admin exam. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.